where science isn't hard. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Biology Boulevard? Today's episode of Biology Boulevard is brought to you by Avogadro's number and the element iodine. Biology Boulevard is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you! Hello class! Today's episode is about the endocrine system. Let's count, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven glands! <laughs> hey there, little friend. What's your name? My name is Thyroid. Thyroid, huh? Well, what's wrong with you? You seemed a little bummed out. Well, you see, all of my friends always think I'm not important enough to play with them. Why is that? Well, because I really don't know my part in the endocrine system. Is that so? Well, I had a book here that has some stuff about you. Oh, really? University I had a book? That's pretty cool. Man, I hate that. Ooh, Naruto, I like that. Uh, ah, biology. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty big book there. Thyroid, 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 age. Ah, well, it says here, you're a butterfly-shaped gland that okay. makes and stores hormones that help regulate the heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, and the rate at which food is converted into energy. Your hormones are essential for the function of every cell in the body. They help regulate growth and the rate of chemical reactions or metabolism. The parathyroid gland shut down and stopped making PTH. Wow, those are some pretty big words you threw at me there. Well, that's pretty amazing, mister. Thanks for your help. So, I think it's about time to show your hormone-inducing endocrine gland friends what's up. I should, man. Thanks for the help. Bones, bones. Yeah, oh shoot. Yeah, what's up? Oh, let's go. Later, ah, thyroid. Yeah, later. Hey, Bert. Oh, hey, Arnie. What are you doing there, Bert? I'm trying to read, thank you. Hey, Bert, you know what words always interest in me? Gonads. Donuts? Yeah, you know. Testes and ovaries. Arnie, I don't care. Now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to read my book. Oh. Okay, Bert. <laughs> <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. Ah, chapter four. What? Donuts? Melatonin. Can you say melatonin? 
Yay! You guys are great. Pomo knows that melatonin was first discovered because it lightens amphibian skin. Hmm, amphibians. Like Kermit the Frog. According to Alma's latest research, experts suggest that the main target cells of melatonin are in the part of the brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN, and it functions as a biological tick-tock clock. Melatonin seems to decrease the activity of neurons in the SCN, and it may be related to biological rhythms. Kind of rhythms. So that's the pineal gland. And remember, Elmo loves you. Oh yeah! Yeah! Dum -dum 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 -dum. Oh, hello there. The Cookie Monster cannot make it today. I am his brother, Animal Cracker Monster. Today, me want to talk about something very important: the pancreas. But more importantly, animal crackers! Me love animal crackers, but me run out of animal crackers. Ah, me know. Me going to ask questions to find out about animal crackers, because asking questions is a good way to find out about things like animal crackers. Look, me see someone already. Do you have animal crackers? Animal crackers? Why, animal crackers are bad for you to eat all the time, my blue friend. But do you know what is good for you? Science! Why? Animal crackers are a very nice treat every once in a while, but too much of that glucose stored in your body can be bad news for homeostasis indeed. Animal crackers? Okay, take one animal cracker, but remember... <laughs> Hello Miss Fallon's AP Biology class. This is Oscar the Grouch here with a brand spanking new trash can. Well, you know what makes me extra grouchy? The adrenal gland and the endocrine system. You know those triangle shaped glands in your body that sit on top of the kidneys? Well, I have a graph here to show you exactly where it is. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Mm, let's just shoot. I don't need that. Uh, don't worry. I don't need that. Oh, here you go. The adrenal glands. The cameraman just zoom in on this right here. Okay, so here are the kidneys over here. And then the adrenal gland is right on top, right here. See that? Alright, anyway. Oh, I love my trash. Oh, what the? Hey, That's a trash. Aren't, aren't you the perfect guy for- Oh! Oh, get away from me! Oh. Oh. Okay. So we have one last gland to talk about today, and it is the pituitary gland, the most important of them all. This gland controls all other endocrine glands, hence the name, the master gland. And what better way to inform you about this topic than through the magic of song? Please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to our very special guest, musical sensation, Marlo Coloma! Yeah.
Okay, bird. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. Ah, chapter four. What? Donuts. <laughs> Hello class, you're just in time to watch me count. Today's episode is of- oh, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, all my endocrine phlegm, uh, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> This thing is hard. <laughs> you know what, Glenn? Makes me extra grouchy. I forgot to say who I was. Oh, me get it. So do you want to shut up? <laughs>